Today we're up in Oxnard, about ready to do a Yacht Controller Yamas install on a 1998 Navigator with twin Volvo engines. Shifting system on board is a Hynotix a hydraulic system. It's all manual and in the engine room there's a Glendenning engine synchronizer with push-pull cables to the transmissions. Let's see what's inside. Here we are at the lower helm station of the uh, late 90s vintage navigator and as you can see we have a high nautics uh, shifter and throttle system with your standard uh, uh, old-school electronics and Glendenning engine synchronizer. Here we are at the uh, lower helm station of the navigator. Uh, you can see on both the port and starboard side of the uh, helm we have the high nautics uh, manual shifting and throttle system. The system runs uh, a hydraulic kind of a glycol type fluid uh, from this station uh, all the way down to the engine room uh, to a servo where the uh, flow of fluid is actually turned into a rotary movement of a swing arm that will push and pull a cable to control the throttle and the uh, transmissions in and out of gear. Here we have the uh, Yacht controller and uh, the Yama system. Uh, on your left, you're going to see the uh, standard uh, uh, pieces of equipment that come with the Yacht controller. Uh, starting from left to right, you have the uh, wiring harnesses. You can see the handheld transmitter uh, in the middle, and you can also see the uh, receiver that goes behind the dash on the right. Uh, down below, we have some instruction manuals, and over here on the right, uh, you can see the uh, Glendenning uh, Yamas portion of the system. We have a very large uh, gold colored box um, that actually takes the electronic signals from the yacht controller and turns them into a mechanical uh, rotational movement. It actually grabs a hold of a, of a standard uh, shifter cable and will put the engines in and out of gear. Uh, a little bit below that to the gray and the red and yellow and the black cables, those are all uh, wiring harnesses. This is the complete Yacht Controller Yamas system. Here we are inside the engine room of the uh, Navigator. As you can see, we have twin uh, Volvo diesel engines. And off to the uh, starboard side, as we're looking aft, is going to be the mounting location of the Yamas system. You can see here uh, two reservoirs. One is for the Hynotic shifting, and the other one is for uh, the steering system um, and in between those things you can actually see the Hynotix uh, solenoids. One is for shifting that's on the left and the one on the right is for the throttle. As I zoom out a little bit you can see we have plenty of real estate here. What's going to have to happen is the uh, Glendenning Yamas box is going to have to be mounted on the wall and we're going to have to re reorient the uh, the solenoids uh, to line up with the uh, Yamas box. You're going to see that a little bit later. But here's our mounting location before we start. Here we have the completed installation of the Yacht Controller Yamas system. Uh, you can see here we have the uh, Glen Denning unit uh, which uh, actuates the two red shifter cables that are connected to each one of the transmissions. Above this you can see the relocated uh, servos for the Hynotic uh, engine control system and off to the right here we have the reservoir uh, for the Hynotic uh, shifting and throttle system. We have one of the throttle servos and then a, a uh, steering reservoir above. Here is the Yacht Controller Yama system installed on a late 90s Navigator with twin Volvo engines.
In my hand I have the Yacht Controller dual band transmitter. It's currently turned on, active and linked to the Yacht Controller uh, receiver. Uh, as you can see here we have uh, uh, four buttons in the middle, port engine, starboard engine, bow thruster, stern thruster, and these two keys here on the top are uh, windless, uh, out and in. Power, this is the power button and this is the sync button. So what we'll do here is uh, every button here is a momentary on. Uh, as soon as you let go of the, the button, it'll return back to uh, its center position, which is neutral. Uh, port engine, reverse, neutral. Port engine forward, neutral. Starboard engine forward, starboard engine reverse. You're looking at the port and starboard uh, hynotic actuators. Uh, these were originally uh, connected directly to the shifter cables that put the uh, transmissions in and out of gear. On the left is the port actuator and in order to mount it this way I had to actually reverse the two black hydraulic lines going to it because in its stock form uh, after I got everything set up uh, forward was reverse and reverse was forward. So in order to do this the uh, pressure in the uh, reservoir had to be released brought that to zero and just uh, unscrewed uh, each hose and, and switched them, uh, brought the pressure back up to 80 PSI and bled the air out of the system. After that was done, we're good to go. Yacht controller with a Yamas system.